Welcome back to College Algebra. Uh, in this video, let's take a look at the increasing, decreasing, and constant part of a function. So after we learn about the vertex, okay, now I can actually begin to tell you about what does it mean to be increasing, decreasing, and constant part of a function. So an increasing function is on a given open interval where the graph of a function rises from left to right. Yeah. I use the word rise, it's not the best word. Um, so in other words, from where to where, okay, looking at the graph, then say, then ask yourself, from where to where on the x-axis, the function is rising or increasing. A decreasing function is on a given open interval where the graph of a function drops. You know what I'm saying? I use a quotation mark drops from left to right. Okay, that's the not a best choice of wording, but that's the only thing I can think of. So in other words, from by looking at the graph again, from where to where, asking yourself, from where to where on the x-axis the function is actually going downward or decreasing. All right. The constant function, I mentioned the word constant function before. Constant function is referring to the horizontal line where f of x is equal to a number or y equal to a number. All right, let's make a note. We will always use parentheses for, for the intervals on, um, for the, on the graph to indicate the increasing, decreasing, or constant part of a function. Okay, so this is a lot like domain and range or domain but we don't use any brackets, okay? We only use parentheses, okay? Because the wording I'm using here is the word open intervals, okay? On an open interval. So open interval simply means I'm not gonna include any particular value. That's why I got to use parentheses. All right, we'll do this just in a minute, okay? Let me define two more words here. What is so-called a relative maximum, okay? I use the word absolute maximum, absolute minimum, when, uh, when I talked about the quadratic functions. A relative maximum is a value of the input where the function changes from increasing to, to decreasing, okay? A relative minimum is the value of the input where the function changes from decreasing to increasing, okay? So, um, so these are coordinates, okay? These are particular um, points on the graph where it shows the relative maximum or local maximum minimum. This is not the absolute. So using this picture, for example, as you can see, okay, both of these arrows will point upward. So so your, your absolute max, absolute minimum is actually infinity, okay? So it's not very exciting to talk about that. But what we can take a look at within the graph is something called the relative max relative min minimum so my graph coming from left is coming downward to this point all right and then from this point on it rises to this point right here and then from this point forward it go down it go downward again so this is another relative minimum and after that point it go went back up again so these two point right here is actually called the relative minimum or local, okay, minimum. All right, this point up here is not the highest point, okay, of your graph. That's what we call them relative maximum, okay, what they mean. So the relative maximum and relative minimum is very important when it comes to talking about increasing, decreasing, and constant part of function. Because, because these, these inputs is where the graph changing from decrease to increase or increase to decrease. So you got to be able to identify these points ahead of time. So you can actually look at the graph and know uh, from where to where on the x-axis, your function is increasing, decreasing. All right. So for the function below, find the interval in which the function is increasing. Okay, so we will answer all three of them. So let's find the point. Let's find the point. Find the relative min, relative max first. So this parabola, I think the minimum is right here. So that minimum is 3, 1. Okay, so from left to the right, 
this graph is this part of the the left side of my relative minimum or my absolute minimum is decreasing and to the right side of my absolute minimum or relative minimum this part is increasing okay so when we write the increasing part of the domain or increasing part of the function we we ask ourselves from where to where on the x-axis my function is decreasing it's actually what this side is actually keep on going left for so it's going to be from negative infinity all the way to who which value do i look at the x value from where to where on the x-axis my function is decreasing is from negative infinity to three that part is decreasing from where to where on the x-axis my function is going upward or increasing got to be from three keep on going to the right all right so it's a lot like domain but not quite all right there's no constant part of the function because i because there's no way i see a horizontal line so the constant part of function will be none all right let's look at this one this is a cubic function okay so this is my relative minimum that's my relative maximum so this coordinate is negative one uh, they're using two, I guess. Negative one, negative two. This one is one, two. All right. So from left to the right, this part is decreasing. And after that, from this red point to that red point is going up. After the one, two, my function is also decreasing. Okay. I'm going to highlight green for the increase. So remember now, I'm not writing a domain, okay? So there's no union, anything like that. So for my decreasing part of the function, then I would just say from where to where on the x-axis, my function is decreasing. It's decreasing from negative infinity all the way to negative 1, comma. Another place that's decreasing is from 1 to infinity, okay? using x values using x values because i'm thinking about from where to where on the x-axis the increase part of the function is only from this x value to that x value so that will be from negative one to one all right so this is like a this is actually an absolute value function because the upside down v so this point right here is my absolute max by the way the absolute value function um is very similar to um it, it has most of the same characteristic as a um per, uh, quadratic function so this has got to be the vertex two or my my absolute maximum so that corner is two three so this part must be increasing after that two three that part is decreasing so my increasing part of the function is from negative infinity, from where to where on the x-axis the function is going upward. It's got to be from negative infinity all the way to 2. Decrease part of the function is from 2, keep on going to the right. There you go. All right, this is a square root function here. So I believe the starting point is right here, which is negative 3, negative 1. So if you actually just kind of draw this picture, this picture never actually decreased, okay? So that means from th negative 3, keep on going to the right, the function is going upward. So this, this particular picture, I only have increased part of the function, which is from negative 3 to infinity. All right? If I ever give you a graph that goes this way, okay? goes that way well you got to realize i draw it from right to left but we have to look at the picture from left to right so if so from left to right this picture is actually going what well, going upward so that's also increasing part of function but if i have a picture that goes this way from left to the right this is actually a decreasing part of a function okay all right so just quickly talk talk to you about increase decrease constant part of a function and 
uh, telling you about the minimum and maximum, relative maximum, relative minimum of, uh, of our graph. All right, that will conclude this video. Thank you for watching.